We each inherit our genetic code, our genome, from our parents. Our genome is like an instruction manual made up of thousands of genes that tell our bodies how to grow and develop. But our experiences throughout life influence the way our bodies read and react to this instruction manual. And this is where epigenetics comes into play. A logo for the CDC appears featuring an abstract bird made of human faces in profile. An instruction manual is filled by different color dots. The dots transform into puzzle pieces that form a human body. Lightning bolts pulse around the body as it falls into pieces. Epigenetics, noun. Epigenetics is the study of how behaviors, environments, and our life experiences can affect the way our genes work. Just like the switches in an electrical box, our genes can be turned on and off. Some of our genes act as master switches. These genes can switch other genes on or off. Some genes have dynamic switches. These genes switch on and off frequently, like genes that exhibit a circadian rhythm and express changes over a predictable 24-hour cycle. Still other genes have stable switches. These genes remain on or off throughout life. Five main switches appear on screen. They turn on or off. One of the switches acts as a master switch, which activates eight secondary switches. Another main switch acts as a dynamic switch, only activating specific secondary switches in a set pattern. Another main switch is locked in place with a padlock. Epigenetics shows that social and environmental stimuli, the people, places, and things that a person interacts with, can switch certain genes on or off, altering the way our brains and bodies read our genetic code. And these epigenetic changes can have lasting impacts on our health, development, and behaviors. So, what does this mean in relation to ACEs? We now know that early childhood experiences can result in epigenetic changes. This helps explain why early adversity is linked to poor health outcomes and risky behaviors. When a child's environment is filled with adversity, epigenetic changes can cause certain genes to switch on or off, impacting their developmental and health trajectories in negative ways. Epigenetics helps us understand that even though genes play a role, they don't determine exact outcomes. For instance, a child may inherit genes that predispose them to depression or obesity, but that part of their genetic code may never be expressed if their environment does not cause that gene to switch on. ACEs and toxic stress can cause certain genes to switch on, enabling potentially harmful traits to be expressed. And when harmful traits are expressed, the likelihood that a person will experience long-term negative outcomes increases. A switch appears on screen on top of an illustration of a brain. The switch is activated, changing from green to red. Pulsing blue and yellow lightning bolts appear around the brain. More lightning bolts appear around the puzzle piece human body from before. The lightning bolts disappear into the body. Epigenetic changes have implications for the health and well-being of individuals and for future generations, as evidence suggests that some epigenetic changes can be passed from generation to generation. However, our genes are not our destiny. When we intervene at the earliest moment, we have the power to prevent epigenetic factors from taking hold. We can reverse negative outcomes associated with ACEs and break the cycle of intergenerational trauma. A bubble surrounds the puzzle piece human body. This bubble protects the body from pulsing blue and yellow lightning bolts. Click the next button to proceed.